First, you sew the side seam, making sure the front center ties are facing the center. You will use a serger stitch. You can use 1 fourth inch or a little larger. I usually use 1 fourth inch serger stitch. Let one side hang off farther than the other. You're going to cover that up with a serger stitch. After you've started sewing a little ways, you're going to put the bottom two pieces of the edge together and you're going to hold on to that while you're sewing so that the fabric stays put and doesn't move quite so much. Now you're going to sew the opposite side the exact same way that I've already sewn this side. Moving on, we're going to sew both sides of the halter that's behind your neck with a serger stitch. Starting with the end of your front ties, you're going to hem one half inch all the way across the lower part of the robe. You're going to use a cover stitch machine or you're gonna change the stitch on your home machine to a zigzag stitch. When you reach the other end of the front tie, you're going to trim it with scissors. Then tuck it in like I've shown you in this video. Continue sewing one half inch hem all the way around the upper part of the ties. Repeat that same tuck on the other side when you finish your hem stitches. After cutting the excess serger stitches, now it's time to sew the open back part of the halter. Fold in about a half an inch where you're gonna hem all the way around till you reach the same point where you started stitching this particular stitch. After cutting any stray threads, you're finished with this sexy robe.